tuning into this this real quick facebook video i wanted to make i have not gone live on this page in a very long time it's some of you that are friends family we've been connected for years and it's some of you that are brand new to me so i have an ask for you uh come on into the video and take a few minutes and hear me out and then hopefully you may be able to help me with this so if you don't know who i am my name is cena martin chandler i am a ceo i'm a business owner i'm a mom of two boys author producer i do a whole lot of stuff what I'm working on right now is I'm working on a, a project where I'm um, actively bringing my whole team together to support young women and at-risk youth. Reason being is this is something that we've been working on for quite a long time and now I'm becoming more vocal and more public about it. Um, I was a teen mom at the age of 17. I'll share my story a little bit before I go into that just to tell you like why I'm actually doing this. But we're working um, on a docuseries right now that we're recording to showcase what it's like being a young teen mom or what the story um, is of women who were teen moms and we know what happened to them as they got older and, and how things progressed for them in life based on choices that they made good, bad, or indifferent. And so I think this is something that needs light brought to it. It's a conversation that gets swept under the rug. A lot of at-risk youth, a lot of young men and women, when they make decisions um, that most people wouldn't agree with, they're labeled a lot of times as problem kids or, you know, that's because they're in the street or they get all these labels on them and statistics put on them as opposed to hearing them out and figuring out why they're actually doing the things they're doing and making the decisions that they're making. So I'm creating this docu-series for that number one reason is because I want to, um, I want their stories to be heard and I want the world to take a look at why or how they got into these positions as opposed to just putting labels and statistics on them. And this is something that I experienced when I became a teen mom. I got told many, many times that because I had made that decision, now, albeit there were, there were things that happened that led up to that decision, it wasn't as if I just chose and wanted to do that, but not, nevertheless, the decision was made and the event happened and I got told because of that event that things were going to progress in my life or I wasn't going to be able to accomplish certain things or that I would end up a, a number in a book, another statistic. And that's not what happened. So um, that's long story short what I'm working on. Now, here's where I could use your help. So I need you to tag anyone do you know who is a professional who works in the space of they could be a mental health professional, they could be a therapist, they could be a counselor, they could be a maternal mental health specialist, a doula, um, a OBGYN, anyone who you know who is a professional who works with um, youth in, who works with at-risk youth in any capacity. And when I say at-risk youth, I mean, you know, young women who are living in low-income neighborhoods or, you know, they may be also experiencing a young pregnancy and not have the support of their family or the father in the picture. Anyone who you know who deals with that, they may work at a school, maybe it's a teacher who has insight on this topic. I need to gather a community up of professionals who have experience in this space because it's going to contribute to this docuseries and this project that we are working on. And that's where I'm asking for your help. I told you why this is pat this is a passion for me. I'm gonna do a lot more of these videos where I'm sharing more of like my story and why I'm doing this and why this is important. But most importantly right now is that you know um we band together and we work together to bring these stories to the forefront because more of their voices need to be heard and more more importantly than that, I don't believe in passing the problem on to or saying it's not my kid so we don't need to do anything about it like that's not my child that has nothing to do with me you know that's this other individual as long as it's not mine so what um this is something where there's uh, there's so many other issues going on around the world and we we all could talk about the issues and the division and all this other stuff that's going on but i'm noticing more and more in my own personal life and in my relationships and in my friendships that a lot of the kids are, are getting swept under the rug and left by the wayside and they're being left to fend for themselves because the adults are, and, and, and this is not overgeneralizing, I'm just, I'm just 
talking about an observation I'm seeing in some instances, in some cases, but it's enough instances where I feel compelled to do something about it. I'm noticing that young kids and young teens and young parents are being left to fend for themselves. Either because the parents are working really hard or out of the house or trying to make ends meet or all whatever it is they're doing or they're too busy concerned with their own lives not really paying too much attention to them or what they're doing and then the other case i noticed too is that um a lot of these younger women and these young moms they don't have the organizations or the community centers or the programs to go to like when this happened when it happened to me back in you know 2009 there were community centers there were programs there were places i could go to to get the help and what's going on now is if you notice there's funding being cut across the board like programs nonprofits are literally getting their funds are literally getting slashed in half so programs are closing um community centers are closing after school programs are harder to get into it's 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 a it's an issue and it's something that i feel passionate to do something about so if you know someone who was in this space who will be interested in being a part of this docuseries please tag them in this video dm me send me a message have them reach out um and i'll be back soon with more information on this i'll do a few more videos we'll do this we'll turn this into a whole series because i want to do more like sharing my story and talking about why this matters and why i need your help to accomplish this so if you're new to my page